and welcome to the video created by Rent My EA Service. This video is created for those who are renting the EAs and if those EAs use our service for their license management. As explained in this slide, the video is intended for the renter, in this case Jose. So let's say you are the renter and you have paid for an EA from Jessica. Then this video is created to explain to you how you should then go about using the EA and work with our system. If you are not the renter, but the person who owns the EA, then this video is not for you. Please check the other help video on our site. Okay, so let's get started. Let's say you're Jose and you just have paid for an EA from somebody who is renting their EA using our service called as Rent My EA Service, right? So when you do that and when you pay for the first month rent or whatever the agreement that you have made with the owner of the EA, you should receive an email or some communication that actually gives you two things. One is the actual EA file, which is the EX4, and what is called as the license key. Right? So in this example, the email has come from Jessica saying, Hello, Jose, thank you for your payment for the first month's rent. Attached, you will find the EA file and you will need a license key, which is this one. This license key will allow you to run the EA on Euro USD H1 chart only until 28th of February 2021 as per our agreement. Of course, this is all dummy information, you will have a different agreement with your own um, renter. This is just an example, right? Any questions, please feel free, Jessica. Now, when you receive this, what you have to do is as follows. First, open your MetaTrader 4 platform. Go to the Navigator window. And then you have to see this EA that Jessica has sent you in the list of available EAs, right? To do that, first open your meta editor, go again to the navigator, right click, open the folder, and save this EA file in this folder, right? Once you do that, go back to your meta title 4 and refresh. Right click, refresh. Once you do that, you should see that EA in the list of available EAs, correct? Okay, so here is the EA. Now, you open the chart you want to run the EA on. Now notice that for this, I am purposefully opening AUD CAD H1 chart just to demonstrate the functionality. So let's try to add this. Now, before you actually use the EA, and this is the most important step, please follow this very carefully. You will see in the EA somewhere a URL input field. It may be called URL, maybe called something else, but there will be a URL that you first must add to the allowed list of URLs on your MetaTrader 4. This is how the EA will communicate with the um, site. So double click and copy this link. Cancel out, don't add the EA yet. Go to Tools, Options, and under the expert advisor, click this checkbox and then add this URL. So of course, for me, um, I will already have added. If not, I will go ahead and add this. Paste, enter, and click OK. 
So this is the most important step. Now what is the second most important step? In most of the cases, the seller will also send you the code library that is required to uh, work with our licensing system. So if they, in this case, they haven't sent you. So what you do is go to our site, rent my EA service, go to the code library. And first thing is download the code library that is required. Once you download this, go to your downloads folder. There it is. Copy. And remember, when you open your MetaTrader 4, Meta Editor folder for expert, there's also a folder for libraries. So right click, open folder, and right click and paste. My um, MetaTrader already had it, so you will have to paste it. Make sure the name is exactly this RME license check v1.ex4. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one because it created a copy, I don't need that. But you need to have it in exactly with this name, correct? Now, the next step now, come back to your MetaTrader 4 and now try to add the EA again, right? First, go to About, check the About information, go to Common, make sure this is checked if your EA is going to create trades. But more importantly, check this DLL imports and allow import of external experts. And then go to inputs. And this is where now you copy the key that was given to you in the API key field. This is the license key that was given to you. Make sure there are no spaces, extra characters, just copy it exactly as is. Okay, and click OK. Once you click OK, remember I had told you that this is on purpose, I'm adding on the wrong chart, because remember, Jessica said this valid only on Euro USD H1 chart, and I added it on AUDCAD, so the license check failed, and this is not allowed, so contact the owner. But you know what happened, so what actually happened was the EA checked with our central licensing system and found out that we are actually adding the key on the wrong chart. So it actually stopped you, and it even went ahead and removed that EA, correct? So. Now, let us try with the right chart. So Euro USD H1, let's try this whole thing again. So we try to add it, let's copy the key, say okay. Now this time it did not stop us. It is now running on the chart. So now the EA is working. Every few hours it's gonna go and check with our central database about the validity. And the moment you pass 28th of February, you'll get a similar message again saying this EA is not valid anymore, get the new license key or extend the current license key. Okay, so this is how our system works. The other small detail you need to understand is the license check only happens when you're running it live. If you're back testing the EA, the license check is automatically disabled so that you can backtest the EA as much as you want and it won't keep checking with the licensing system. Okay, hope you find this video useful and hope you find our service useful for your trade. Thank you so much.